what kind of information we are keeping here what is the kg for example order unit base unit is kg but order you are uh, giving in some uh, bag or uh, pack or bag something like that we can say pack huh? then we can we have to maintain the each pack equals to 100 kg or like that order unit and also if you want to maintain any automatic PO indicator specific purchasing related data we can monitor maintain in the purchasing view and that view the data will be at your plant only means this data you can change to other plants also this purchasing view contains the information related to purchasing activities see I have given that order unit as a different then system only will ask me the conversion see one pack equals to how many cages 100 kg means when I am ordering I am just ordering in the pack but the, my base unit is kg only okay. means what you understood basic data contains the basic information like name what is the unit of measure what is the material group and if you have any other old name in your uh, old legacy system Maybe you are using like SIM 53. Maybe any number you are using like. For example, our new number is this one. In your old system, you might have a, some kind of 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, some number. Just for reference. And any grass weight, net weight is different. Some some material, if you take oil and all those things, oil and also some kind of materials, grass weight and net weight will be different. That kind of data which will be common for all the plants and all it will be contained and uh, the purchasing contains the purchasing related data if you have any quality linkage and all for goods received processing time how many days it will take when you order a material these all details will be if you have a batch management active or in case of manufacturing and process industries batch management will play a very crucial role like uh, whenever they buy produce goods on respect to day or when you are buying that they will take into the batches if you take any biscuit packet or if you take any drugs uh, if you take into a tonic or tablet and all if you see the batch number because if there is any issue comes from the customer they can analyze what is the batch number when that batch number was manufactured and at what time on which batch and which raw materials are used to produce that finished good and they can identify which raw material causes that issue to analyze analysis batch management will be very useful uh, especially in the process industries like uh, food industries pharmaceutical and uh, these people use batch management uh, mainly because they have uh, that requirement to analyze analysis and all Ganesh, one question. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Put are, are you able to see the screen? What I have done, I created a material. I created a material. Yeah, sure. Yeah, 91. Without okay. purchasing. Yeah, without purchasing you. Now I came to PO and I try to create. I'm getting an error. As a material not maintained by purchasing. Okay, you just uh, click on the, if you go to the long text error, it will show you like material not maintained by purchasing, the data from purchasing view is normally necessary. Okay, create the purchasing view in the material master record. It is only giving you suggestion. Many things we will get an answer also will be given for you. 80% of cases. For 40% you have to understand and go to the solution. If you receive this message in case of uh, some other thing, create a purchasing view in the material master record okay that's what it is giving suggestion to you now you got the point right the importance of views like, um, the vendor master will deal who is providing you the goods to us but when it comes to service master we have services like mission repair services and vehicle hiring we, if you take a rent for uh, vehicle if you take rent for our company purpose that will be comes under the services and also we have a services like AC repair and machine repair work and the housekeeping people who are working 
and security people who are working. Even we are also doing one kind of service to our company. We are taking money for our work. These are all kinds of uh, procurement activities. The master data will be service master. Where we won't keep a stock. For example, if you take a material, how many laptops are available, how many boxes are available, we can see the stock. But these things are not how much painting was done. But we cannot see a stock, just it's a work was done. They, uh, one person has come and worked for three days and uh, repaired some four AC and he has gone. We will pay for four days repairing of AC each day some hundred bucks we will pay it. But we won't see like uh, how much uh, quantity is available like that. It's like a amount of work how much we have done as per actuals. That will deal about uh, service master. And uh, info record is a, an optional master data which will be useful to have a record of materials. For example, what happened, uh, we have a material diesel. Diesel you are buying for your company. We are buying diesel from uh, HP, you are buying from IOCL. Three different vendors you are buying. HP is giving you for uh, 60 rupees and IOCL is giving for 59 rupees. But they have some calculations like uh, whenever you call immediately HP will provide you within a day. But a IOCL needs at least five days time before ordering. That's why what will you do? You will have an interaction with all kind of vendors. But when, when it is emergency, although one rupee is extra, you will buy from HP. When it is not that much urgent, you will create a pure with IOCL. Just I'm giving one kind of business example. In info record, we can have uh, records between material and vendor. Different vendors, the 59 rupees with IOCL, 60 rupees with HP, like that you can maintain. When you create a PO for HP, automatically 60 rupees will, price will come because of this info record. When you create a PO with IOCL, automatically 59 will come because in info record we maintain that price and the combinations. Just I'm giving a bit fast an overview in the videos we have yeah. explained in deep. Hmm? And uh, okay. this, uh, uh, Mm. Ganesh, yeah. about the source list, uh, the source list is also one kind of master data uh, where we can uh, fix a vendor or block a vendor. Fixing vendor means for example, uh, you, uh, you want to buy cement from always some Maha cement. Then you can fix that cement 53 grade material for your plant for this duration, for next six months duration, fix that vendor. Then uh, whenever you buy a material from other vendors, system will throw a like, this is the fixed vendor is available. That information will be given to purchasing team. And also, the same time, we can block a vendor also. <clears throat> what happened, uh, one vendor is uh, giving some poor quality. You have a discussion that next two months, I, until you give the new quality certificate, I cannot buy from you. At the same time, you cannot delete that one because you want to do the operations after two months. At that point of time, for next two months, you can block that vendor for this material. Then what will happen? I don't know that reason. I was trying to create a PO with that vendor. If you block that vendor in the source list master data, system will throw a message. This vendor is blocked for this material. Then, okay, there is a reason. Then you will go to and buy from other vendor. Otherwise, you will check for any other alternatives and all. Okay. Uh, I next, uh, 